Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're looking at turning the home screen off in Photoshop 2023. It's not as easy as it might at first appear and certainly not as easy as it should be. I've opened Photoshop just now. The home screen is showing. To turn it off, you're going to edit Preferences General on a PC. That would be Photoshop Preferences General on a Mac. In the Preferences area, you probably have Auto Show the Home Screen enabled and you're just going to click to disable it. But you can see that I've already turned it off, but the Home Screen's appearing. So something really weird is happening here. So I'm just going to click OK because if turning it off Closing and reopening Photoshop does not work for you. Chances are that it's because you're using a workspace. It makes no sense at all. Don't blame me. This is how it's looking. If I go to Window Workspace, and at the moment I'm using a workspace that I made up called Graphic Design for Lunch, if I reset that, not only does the home screen disappear, but let's close and reopen Photoshop. And you can see now I'm opening up Photoshop without that home screen. So the appearance or non-appearance of the home screen, even though you might have it set in preferences so that it doesn't appear, seems to be somewhat tied into a custom workspace. I haven't found the same issues necessarily with Photoshop's own workspaces, but I definitely have with my own custom workspaces. Now there's also a little trick in terms of if you want the home screen to appear, but you don't want to have shown all your images. Well, if you don't save things to the cloud, you could select your files. And then what happens is when I close Photoshop and reopen it, it goes back to where I was the last time I closed Photoshop. And so we're going back to that same Your Files area. Because I have no cloud documents, then nobody's seeing my work. You could also use the Learn area because that's very innocuous. It's not showing your files to a customer, for example, but it is making it very accessible to you to be able to go and get your documents. But remember, before you exit Photoshop each time, you need to select something different from the home screen because this is going to be what Photoshop defaults to. Once you close it and reopen it, that's what you'll see on the screen. Of course, that begs the question of if you're working inside Photoshop, how do you even get your home screen back so that you can make a selection? Well, there's a little house icon here and that will show the home screen. So you can select it, choose whatever it is that you want Photoshop to show next time you open it and then close it and reopen it. So with a bit of understanding as to what's happening behind the scenes and potentially the impact of having your own custom workspace and working with that in Photoshop, you should be able to manage your home screen either showing or not showing as you wish. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.